Hey everyone, welcome to the Divine Rose Garden. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a collective reading. Um, I'm not really going to put a date on this, but I'm pretty sure if you're tuning into it, uh, whenever you uh, come across this reading, it will resonate. Uh, but just to let you know that I am recording on January 31st, 2024. Um, but I am confident that these messages will resonate if uh, you were brought here, if you were guided here. So welcome and please do subscribe and hit that like button if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and checking out my other content here on my YouTube channel through my shorts, community tab, my live streams and my previous videos where I give um, plenty of uh, downloads and advice of the uh, current energies astrologically and the downloads that I receive. I'm an intuitive guide, a spiritual teacher, astrologer who channels energies from uh, not only from the astrological uh, events, but also from directly from source, from angels, from higher dimensional beings. I only work with higher dimensional beings that empower you to make decisions that are in alignment with your higher self. So here we go. We are clearing the energy in the space, in your space, in my space, and calling in all angelic and higher dimensional beings to grace us with their presence and allow us to receive the messages that are for our highest and best good. So we are at the end of January at this point and we can already feel like a lot of change has been going on in our lives internally externally now today's message for the collective here really does focus on stepping stepping into your authority and i know the lighting is really not great here but i will be showing these cards hopefully it won't be so dark. Oh, goodness gracious. There is no light. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. I thought she was going to look much brighter than this. But here we are. Nine of Pentacles uh, is the first card that came out, which tells me that the collective is stepping into their uh, authority, independence. Um, I mean, what screams at me in this is, are, can you finally accept yourself for who you are, what you are? Because you are being called to do things on your own right now, to step into your own inner, inner authority. Um, I'm seeing in this card, I know the lighting really sucks, guys, and I'm sorry about that. I'm not too sure why, but there's a lot of gold and white in these cards, especially in this one. So you might be surrounded by gold and white energy right now, and that is God's pure, most divine light. So... Although in your linear mind, it feels like this is disrupting your linear mind saying, why do I have to go about this alone? It's time to step into your inner authority. It's time to make change. It's time to come from a place that is of self, not doing things for others. They're saying, let's read the card. The frequency of authority reminds us that True authority is powerful, directed, and realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. So a lot of you here, you see here we have the Seven of Swords. And again, she's dressed in white. And if you don't see it in the cards, but you'll see uh, in this card, there's roses here. And it's, it looks like, she, and there's that that full moon, that light here that is being projected into the background, which feels shady. Seven of Swords is deception, shadiness, lies, not being true to oneself, uh, being caught in some deception, in some deceptive energies with people, probably women, friends in the background here. Um, but it feels like you're liberating yourself or you're being called to liberate yourself from these de this deception, these lies, these... Uh, people who wear masks and, to, and who are always, um, you know, it's all about the facade and the appearances, right? And so you're seeing through the lies now. Um, some of you tend to compare yourself to people who are very deceptive. Look how beautiful you come across here with the Nine of Pentacles. You don't know how beautiful you are. You don't know how beautiful your soul is. You don't know how pure you are, but you know, when we choose to believe in certain things and certain stories, we tend to believe certain things about ourselves. We allow what we believe to dictate 
and to define our self-worth. But I promise you that without these lies and deceptive energies, you're going to take back your power. This is how we take back our power. And it is time, they're saying, take back your power. There's a lot of swords in this reading too. So you might be whacking at things. You're in the forest whacking through all these bushes and trees and all these things because you need clarity you need to get away from things that are are, are distorted spirit is saying i'm just gonna make you listen uh, listen but also look and tune into the energies yourself there's a lot of red here there's, again white this red hmm feels deceptive too in the background She's in white here, holding onto a sword with her eyes closed, um, really having to take some s some initiative here to, to, to set some proper boundaries and to say no and to cut things out. Uh, because you're currently in a process of learning how to accept and love yourself. You don't accept and love yourself for who you are when you're entertaining such energies in the background here. Thank you, angels, for loving, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. It's time for you to accept yourself. And this is a, a message that came through in the Aries reading is, do you love and accept yourself? No matter what other people are saying or doing be in the background, it's time to take your power back. Call back your power and say, no, I love my, myself and accept myself no matter what. No matter what they say, no matter what I was told. To believe no matter what they say behind closed doors i love myself and accept myself no matter what and i'm going to continuously commit to that intention by practicing habits that call in my power that let that remind me of my of the love and acceptance that i have for myself yeah february feels like the love the uh, feels like the month of self acceptance and self love like really taking you know creating that sacred space that sacred pause to remind yourself and take back your power and remind yourself of the things you love what do you actually love it feels like a lot of you were engaged in things that you actually didn't enjoy and that's why there's so much you see here whoops it says back to what you love your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want and that was the download that came through in my live stream in my last live stream for uh, the energies of the month of february whatever is going on it's asking you to reevaluate what you love spirit is giving you permission to to, to say no and to, or to say yes to what does feel in alignment to what you desire, to what you love, right? So this is, are you actually fulfilled? Fulfillment here really stands out. What is your true heart's desire? You've been lying to yourself or you've been buying into a lifestyle or a belief system that people were involved in that really did not put you in alignment to who you true, the pure and loving being that you are on a soul essence in a soul on a soul from a soul's perspective you don't need these things okay so let's move let's read this they're saying my ability to receive is measured by how much i practice good feeling thoughts so watch your thoughts about yourself there's a lot of inner chatter there's a lot of um self-criticism self-judgment that stems from the lies and the, the the judgments that stem from your past from people in your past you believe in those judgments and so you continue to not accept and love yourself because you stay stuck in that belief system and that story misery loves company right that's what they're saying this is misery loves company so if you're deep down on a soul level not miserable the soul is not miserable the soul is here to love and enjoy and explore and accept every experience and part of you that is messy and not so perfect how can you feel good about that how could you how could you retrain your mind on how to feel good 
about that. That's going to be a practice here because in order to receive what is of a higher light, we need to be in alignment to this by practicing good feeling thoughts, coming back to loving and accepting yourself that you are good enough and that you don't, you don't need to change who you are to fit in to people's judgments and be limiting beliefs. Okay, so let me move on here. But this is some powerful stuff. Yeah, the spider is about weaving your own reality. Oh, they're reminding me of the song. Many of you are going to resonate with the song because as I was preparing, it felt like a song was coming through and I said, oh my goodness, I know the song. Okay, so here is the song and it's super powerful. You might get a, down, a, a transmission. You, you might get activated here, okay? It might actually help you to activate this energy, the nine of pentacles of really standing in your beauty and your power all by yourself, wearing your crown, standing up for yourself, reevaluating what doesn't work for you anymore, being in your authority. This is called him. Okay. Him with eight, with a, my own him with H Y M N E. It's from Above and Beyond. It's a fantastic dance song. But the lyrics are really what moves you into this energy of, of hey, I'm going to tune into my own hymn. And what is a hymn? A hymn is, is like your anthem, right? Is, is your, is your pr it's like a, a chant, a song to God. What is your anthem that connects you with your soul sense essence, with God's light? And it's... I get emotional when I listen to this song just because there's just so much truth in this. And you can see the lyrics here. The, I can't play it because um, they're going to flag my video. But just the very first verse is just so powerful. You know, why did you choose to believe bare-faced lies? Boom. Seven of Swords. And let the troubles of others darken your skies. The troubles of others that somehow became yours because misery loves company, right? And it, it darkened your skies. It darkened your perception. It darkened your world. It gave away your power. And it continues saying, I wrote my own hymn. I, I'm writing my own song. I'm writing my own um, anthem, right? And what does my own hymn say? It says, oh, your soul is good. Okay, anyway, go go into it, but you're going to really, really, uh, if you're resonating with the messages, then you'll really resonate, like blast this song nice and loud in your car um, or at home or wherever in your, in your AirPods. Um, but it's, there's a lot of truth in this. It's like, why, why did we choose to believe in so much bullshit and so many lies just to make us feel really badly about ourselves? All right, so yeah, see, why did you choose to believe things unkind? Oh, well, hallelujah, heaven is in your mind, right? God, your higher self is always there. But why do we choose to believe in what the ego says is, is always a choice, right? So redefining your hymn, rewriting your song, your anthem is a very big message right here because you are... Yes, your soul is good. So a lot of you have to face some losses here or have faced losses saying goodbye to something. I really do feel like some of you are, are, are on that um, sailing boat here. Someone is watching you leave. Okay, that is a confirmation for some of you here that with the death card, uh, it's, it, it's expressing the ending, the loss, the saying goodbye. So February does feel like a lot of um, permanent endings for some people, okay? Permanent endings, walking away, saying goodbye to things that are not in alignment and you're cutting things out because now you're taking back your power. You're truly accepting yourself by staying in whatever this is uh, gives these people the power. It neglects and it shows how you've been self-abandoning your own needs and your own power. Now, where was I? With the spider, you see, the spider is all about co-creating your reality with the universe. It's about weaving your web of destiny. But it's not about focusing on the results. This is about being process-oriented, the process of weaving the process of life 
the unfolding, the creation process. Some, some phases in life, you're being asked to, to be more yin and be more receptive, which is what is going on in February. And you're being asked to let go, right? In other months and other times in your life, you're going to be asked to really, you know, make moves and take action. So you constantly have to work with the energies of the universe. And so the spider here is reminding you that when I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. Stop trying to control the outcome. That's what the spider energy medicine is, is don't be focused on results. It's, this is a process-oriented energy. Focus on the process of having faith, of focusing on what you desire, redirecting your energy towards what you love and desire, but allowing yourself the space to come into a sacred space with spirit so that you can practice a relationship of faith, of trust, instead of controlling outcomes, instead of forcing things onto people, forcing an outcome, forcing things to happen. The last message here was, I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. That is the final message for you today, my dears. So please tune in, slow down, don't go hard. <laughs> this is not a month to push against the current. This is truly a month to slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to you. Receive it. You need to put yourself in a place of receiving. If you're not open to receiving, it's because you're in resistance. You're in fear. You're in a place of controlling outcomes. Control is about fear. Love is about letting go, slowing down, listening, being more receptive and understanding. There's a lot of understanding. There's a lot of answers that come from being in a place of receiving oh i'm gonna i'm being guided to get one more from this deck this is my ancestors and guides deck i love it so much so let's see direction guardian choose your path yeah but you have to choose the path they're saying you see they can only guide you and say <laughs> you know the guidance here that keeps saying back to what you love back to what you love and are you making choices and are you choosing paths that are in alignment to who you are to your power that are in alignment to you loving and accepting yourself or are you choosing a path that's in alignment to neglecting and abandoning what you actually love and desire that's all up to you the direction guardian just points you in the right direction but it's up to you to listen and to heed the call was there another song um no there wasn't but please check out that song my own hymn by uh above and beyond um i'm gonna go and listen to it again it's so beautiful and take back your power and let's lean into this energy of, of you know letting go of these this deception these lies these beliefs, these stories that we tell ourselves that that say, no, you can't accept yourself for where you are. You're not worthy. No, we're rewriting the story. You are worthy. Rewrite your own hymn, all right? I love you guys. Have a great day, uh, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. Many blessings to all. Please do check out my offerings in the description box below if you want a reading. Um, and I will see you very soon. Have a great day. Bless you.